we are here with Framingham State head football coach and director of athletics Tom Kelly uh, here during training camp for the 2018 season. Uh, coach, coming off a 10 and 1 season back in 2017, uh, co mascac champions, back-to-back uh, -back New England Bowl championships. What's the outlook on this 2018 season? It's going to be interesting. We have a we have a lot of we lost some uh, pretty good players, seniors, uh, so we got some holes to plug for sure. Uh, you know, overall, we're going to be, you know, we have a lot of young kids in camp that we're, we're really looking at to just kind of step up and, and you know, grab the, gaunt, grab the gauntlet and kind of run with it at this point. And we're, you know, we're, in, we're into our sixth day right now. So it's still early and, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty optimistic. We have some pretty good senior leadership, right, upper class leadership. So we're hoping that the young guys jump on board real quick. So you said uh, lost a couple uh, key impact players. Who who this year kind of sticking out in camp and, and coming back as impact players for you for this season? Well, I, I probably want to highlight two of them, one on offense, and that's Karan Wright. It, it, he's our 1,000-yard rusher from last year. And Karan is just one of those special players. And, you know, uh, and he's wrapped up in a small package. You know, he's about 5'5", five, five, 160 pounds, but he's a dynamic player and he can turn a game around at any point. He would be my guy on offense and on defense would be Josh Unagawego. And, uh, you know, the, he, he's just a special player. Uh, he, he's an all-American type player and dynamic and he's having a tremendous camp so far. Awesome. Um, so if you had to describe your group, your team in one word, what would that word be? Uh, hard workers. You know, we're blue collar as blue collar can be, and that, that's who we are. Uh, and we, we, we practice that way, we play that way. And, you know, um, we're having a pretty good camp so far. Uh, the weather's cooperated a little bit. We got a little wet, but so it hasn't been as humid as in past years, so uh, we're pretty happy about our progress so far. So, uh, past few seasons, um, you know, been quite a few championships and co-championship last year. Um, you want to talk a little bit about the MASCAC and the league and what you're looking forward to uh, this season? It's, you know, the, the conference, there, there's some good football, football teams in New England for sure. And um, but I think on a week-to-week -week basis, when you're playing the MASCAC, it, it, it's a lunch pail league for sure. And you know you know you're going to be in for a battle no matter who you're playing in the conference. And uh, we, we we don't have a day off. You know I, I remember in past years you could pencil in wins here or there. And you know and at one time Framingham was one of those <laughs> penciled in Ws, but we've kind of turned that around the last eight years. And uh, but you know, you know, Plymouth State comes from the bottom of the conference to tie us for the conference last year. I mean, they're well coached. Uh, Western Connecticut always have a lot of athletes, and you know, and we'll have our hands full there. Uh, Worcester State, uh, they are going to contend. You know, they got some players over there. Coach Cullen does a great job. Uh, uh, UMass Dartmouth. You know, once again, a lot of good athletes, um, and just going down the line. And then you know, Mass Maritime. That's always a fun game. You know, with the Kelly Cup, uh, Fitchburg and Bridgewater. And Bridgewater has always been one of our bigger games. And they'll be back on track. I'm I'm sure this year, and uh, Mass Maritime will be better. Um, Fitchburg's always been an interesting game for us. It's always been an intense kind of little rivalry for us. Awesome. Uh, football team's going to open up non-conference schedule this year uh, against Endicott at home uh, and travels out to, to Cortland State uh, for week two and then starts MASCAC action uh, week three. So best of luck and uh, let's hope for another championship. Thanks, Coach.